welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video my name is Bria if you're new here hey boo hey what's happening as you see down in the title below this is like a get ready with me kind of chit chat Q&A thing I got going on here thank you to the people who are watching this who submitted questions I hope I successfully answered all of your questions if you do have more questions feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them maybe even in my community tab or in a future video let me know so in this video we are creating this look that I absolutely love it's a little vampy a little little cute you know we got a little berry color going on a little gold I kind of just winged this look but I'm super satisfied with the outcome I think I look cute do you think I look cute do you think I'm cute yes or no let me know in the comments down below. Before we do anything, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below before this video has ended. It helps me out a lot. We are on the road to 1 million. <laughs> Even though we're only at 1K, a little over 1K, you know, gotta shoot high, gotta shoot for the stars. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. If you're new here, make sure you join the family, join the crew, and let's just get into this video. I'm gonna go in with some orange corrector. If you're not familiar with how orange color corrector can help with like dark marks, it just kind of corrects it. <laughs> so if you have lighter skin and you are suffering from red marks or whatever, you can use green and that corrects it as well. I really don't know the science behind it. It's probably completely obvious and I'm just not like paying that much attention to it, but it works. So if you have some marks you need to correct, that's what correctors are for. Yeah, so I just want to get straight into these questions. I got some really good, good, good questions. And the first one is, what inspired you to start your channel and what are your goals? For as long as I can remember, I loved being in front of the camera, pictures wise. <laughs> I love taking selfies, I love all that. When I used to like do my makeup and stuff, or if I'm cooking, I pretend that I was explaining everything I was doing to an audience. And I'm like, I can do this. This seems like so much fun. And as I was watching like YouTubers that I like, YouTubers that inspire me, I guess you can say, I like saw myself, I'm like, this is something I can do. And a lot of people were like, why don't you get a YouTube channel? You need to get a YouTube channel. And I was just like, I don't know. So one day my boyfriend comes home with a camera, the camera I am using now. I didn't want it to go to waste. And I'm like, this is like the ultimate push. This is like, there's no other reason. If I ignore it now, then I'm just being lazy. And it's not something, like you have to want to do YouTube. You don't just like, you know what, I wanna make money off of this, you know. It has to be a passion because that shows through your content, that shows through your videos. A lot of people can like read right through you. And this was something I really wanted, but the camera was sitting there for a while and I had to like plan it out. You know, when do I want to start? What do I want to do? And one day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a video and I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to step out in faith. And that's what I did and I'm so happy I did that. I'm so proud of myself. It's not easy. It's a lot of hard work. People take it lightly, but like if you really want this to be something, you have to take it seriously. And you have to be aware of the content you're putting out there. You want to make sure that you are targeting an audience. The same person who asked this question also asks, what are my goals as far as YouTube? And obviously, if you take YouTube serious enough, you want to become successful. And I want to become successful, obviously a successful YouTuber. And I want to be not just like she makes cool videos, but I want to impact lives. I want people who look like me and think like me and are like me to see me as an inspiration. And just know that this is possible for anybody if you put your mind to it. I want to make a difference. I want people to know and believe that even if they're scared, they can take steps of faith and you know something will come out of it. The next question says, what are the main obstacles that you've encountered within the building process? And I feel like all new starting YouTubers 
can agree with this and it's building a solid foundation, building a solid audience. People who will always show support, people who will always return to your channel when you drop a video, no question. People who are just loyal, loyal, loyal supporters. It's easy to get a sub but if those people aren't returning to your channel and showing love and all that then it's literally no point. So I feel like reaching a solid foundation and um, creating a returning audience is like really hard because people want to support but I feel like they, they subscribe and that's it. You want to make sure you're being consistent. That's another thing I struggle with is being consistent. My energy has been so low lately and I find it hard to make consistent content with my energy being so low but like I push myself. And that's been a task within itself, but I'm doing it, but it's not easy. I feel like building a solid foundation and a solid audience is really hard. One of the biggest obstacles and also staying consistent, even when you don't feel like it. The next question I love is, what was your first lesson in heartbreak and how has it shaped how you love today? Assuming you experienced heartbreak, I am 25. Yes, I have experienced heartbreak my first encounter with heartbreak like real life heartbreak <laughs> I was devastated I got sick I physically got sick I threw up <laughs> but I also feel like my little high school love and self as well I was quick to get over things so I was hurt for like a day or two <laughs> not even and it hit me hard but I really got over it because it wasn't it was young love so I wouldn't say we put that much energy into it because what did we have? Like, there was no energy to put into it. <laughs> we didn't know anything, but basically, long story short, I found out he cheated. It was like blatant, and I was like completely embarrassed. And I was heartbroken. So, the moment that it was like revealed to me, I got super, super sick because of I don't know if it was nerves or like shock, and I ran to the bathroom and just hurled. <laughs> But it taught me to love myself. After that, I wouldn't say I became savage, but I became very, very, very protective of my heart. And I feel like that followed me for the rest of my life. My heart is very, very important to me. I love a lot, I love hard, I'm a cancer, but I'm very cautious, I guess, when it comes to giving my heart away. I am super protective of myself, super protective of my energy, but it taught me red, like red flags that I probably didn't notice at the moment. I don't trust that easily now <laughs> and I know like okay this is BS let me get rid of this situation ASAP before it gets any worse and that was like a huge lesson within itself it taught me like to love myself because it's weird I realized after the fact like you know what I am a catch like let mm -mm. this is not a this is not the way I'm gonna go out so in the end, I guess I won because I gained self-love, I gained caution so that something like that didn't happen again. Yeah, so I learned to love myself and I learned red flag that I may have initially missed during the whole ordeal. The next one kind of piggybacks off of the last one and it's how did I get over my first heartbreak. Now to be honest, I don't remember getting over my first heartbreak, but there was a heartbreak that occurred in my adult years <laughs> that I can remember how I get over it and it was not easy I feel like when you're younger it's kind of easy to get over that stuff well me because I was like young and you know you don't really know what what you're doing but when you're older you're you're you're, you're um you had you you what you could you do in a relationship hopefully to build we went through some things and it was hard like really hard like can't eat, you can't sleep. <laughs> it is a journey, but I remember non-stop prayer. I don't remember the day I got over it. I don't remember the like the de determining moment that let me realize that okay, I'm over the situation, I'm okay now. But I remember praying non-stop because I knew there was no way that I could heal from that heartache by myself. There was, it was impossible. I was like going through it. Even when I tried not to think about it, when I'm like, let me watch a good show. I even took pills that helped me sleep because you can't sleep, you can't. Oh my God, your life is like 
over in theory. So I even took like medicine to help me sleep. And even then it would help me get to sleep, but I could not stay asleep. No way I couldn't stay asleep for the life of me. I prayed and prayed and prayed and was like, we gotta get out of this God, help me. Cause I don't know what's happening, I don't like it. I started hanging out with my friends a lot. I did stuff to keep myself busy. I picked up extra shifts at work just to keep my mind so I'm not sitting there in my house alone just like pondering and you know dwelling on what was really going on it was hard it took some time but your girl got over it eventually I got over it <laughs> there's a little more obviously but maybe I'll make a video getting into depth of like ways you can get over heartbreak or to like you know something that hurts you the next question is if you That's why, yeah, I really just like used the wrong product and I'm wondering why it was so dark. I used my contour for my setting powder and oh my god, like look, it's so dark, oh my god. The next question is, if you can go anywhere in the road, where would you go? I feel personally, I would go to Bali. I want to go to Africa. I know that's like extremely broad but somewhere in Africa I haven't quite figured it out yet but I do know I do want to go to Africa the next one says what do you do to pick yourself up on a bad day I can go on and on with this one because I have so many different remedies it depends on the day some days I will play in makeup some days I will watch a good movie I love scary movies so I'll get like dive deep into like a, a scary haunted kind of like movie I'll make a YouTube video because when I'm making a video I'm into that video I'm not thinking about outside things I'm not you know distracted so it's good to like get away and that's what YouTube videos do for me another thing that I'll do is bake I love baking and I focus a lot on the recipe and like wanting it to be perfect that I forget what's going on outside of that <laughs> another good thing I do is like talk to friends if I'm going through something I need someone to talk to I like to vent and get it out get it out I take some pictures of myself like after I do my makeup or do my hair I like to take pictures you know kind of like boost myself up if I'm feeling really down and out you know take some pictures take a cute selfie post it the next question is what's your favorite food and cuisine I am a taco Addict. I absolutely love tacos. Tacos make me really happy. <laughs> My favorite cuisine will probably be the Mexican cuisine. No, I, I I may be lying, but I do like Caribbean food. The, the the broad range of Caribbean food, I love it, enjoy it. But Mexican food, tacos especially, sold. It has my heart. There's nothing else to say. I'm just kind of winging this look, so <laughs> don't mind me if it comes all crazy. Someone asked what's my favorite thing to do, and I'm assuming they mean like, you know, activities, stuff like that. And I would say my favorite thing to do is play in makeup, <laughs> make YouTube videos, obviously, and spend time with my family and my baby. I enjoy like things that make up a domesticated person which is like hanging with my family, cooking. I don't like cleaning, but you know, who does? Actually, some people do, but that's just not me. Like, this is a travesty. I ordered some lashes, they're not here yet. I have to <laughs> wear mascara. I swear I cannot wait until I can get my lashes done again. But mascara will do until further notice. I feel like this mascara is not too bad. It does, it does it, it does the trick. It does what it has to do, <sighs> I guess. I don't know what dimension I'm living in, how I forgot this, but I forgot to put highlighter. So I'm gonna do that real quick. A little bit of lip gloss. That, my friends, 
is the finished look. Super vampy, I love it. I'm dressed a little dark today, so I wanted my face to, you know, complement that. And I think I successfully achieved that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this little chit chat kind of Q&A thing I did for you. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you have any more questions for me that you want me to answer in future videos. Yeah, I like talking to you guys rather than just, you know, chatting about makeup and what I'm doing. I like it to be a little bit more personal. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill, all that good stuff. Show you guys some love. We are popping over here on this channel. I'm seeing my channel just grow before my eyes. I'm so excited. This is my little baby. You guys are my little babies. So yeah. That is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.